So with cataract surgery, the most common surgery performed in the United States today, there is a typical healing pattern that we see with patients. So with any surgical procedure, there's a little bit of inflammation, there's a little bit of swelling, and that is also true with cataract surgery. So patients can have some light sensitivity, they can have some blurred vision for a period of time. Typically, that's just a few days. Usually with a patient with cataract surgery, at the end of a week, they are seeing so dramatically better that they're asking us to please do my second eye. That's typical. But typical doesn't mean every single patient. So there's variations in how patients go through surgical procedures. There's variations in biology and healing. So patients can be different. Eyes can be different even with the same patient. The healing process is often slightly quicker in those that have laser-assisted cataract surgery because less energy, ultrasound energy, we call it phaco emulsification power or energy, less is used when the laser has pre-divided the lens for us and done some of the delicate steps and maneuvers within the eye in a non-contact fashion. So that translates to oftentimes a little less corneal swelling in those patients and a faster visual recovery. Although both forms of cataract surgery include a pretty rapid healing and visual recovery. So at the end of cataract surgery, we put inside of the eye a medication and it's a combo medication. It's anti-inflammatory medicine and an antibiotic. And we do that for convenience and we do that for safety. So by us placing the medication inside of the eye, compliance is 100%. And studies have shown that it is safer to do this than to rely on the patients to use eye drops afterwards. Because we're preventing infection. With any surgical procedure, there's a risk of that. And we're reducing the healing uh, period by giving you an anti-inflammatory. Now this medicine is a little opaque and it's floating around in the back of the eye. And so patients will see it. They'll see this, uh, it's a little bit like a lava lamp. Uh, and you'll notice this material for at least a few days, up until a week. And I have some patients that notice it even weeks after their surgery, although it's markedly improving because the medicine is dissipating. So proper expectations are important with cataract surgery. And expectations about wearing glasses are very important. So we have technology today with cataract surgery that allows patients to be less dependent on glasses and on contact lenses. You will be educated about this when you come in for your screening evaluation uh, for your cataract procedure. This is a personal choice. And it's really about you as an individual. What do you want when this is over? How do you want to see? The decision you make impacts how you will see for the rest of your life. Patients often want to know, what's my dependency going to be on glasses or prescription glasses after cataract surgery? And I tell them what depends completely on the technology or the technique that you choose. And, you know, I start with, you know, our advanced option. It uses the most advanced lens technology and it is laser assisted to decrease astigmatism, to increase precision. And so the combination of the laser and the most advanced lens technology, I tell patients that will greatly reduce your dependency on glasses and to use them as little as possible. And what that translates to typically is good distance vision, good intermediate vision like your computer or what you're cooking or holding something out far enough to read it. And depending on the lens or how that lens works in your eye, there's some degree of near vision achieved as well. But I say that even with the best lens technology available, uh, we don't have infinity to the tip of your nose. So you might find some need for um, over-the-counter reading glasses, but only for fine print uh, in most cases. We do have an offering called Custom Vision 
which is similar to advanced where it is laser assisted. It does address astigmatism, but is a distance priority lens. So I tell those patients, yes, we are going for as clear as possible distance vision without glasses. And then hopefully only needing over-the-counter readers for arms reach and in vision. The manual option, which is what's typically covered by insurance. Uh, we are doing it by hand and insurance also covers a basic lens that doesn't correct astigmatism. And so our expectation there is improved overall quality of vision just because of the cataract is gone, colors will be brighter. As far as the focus is concerned, what that translates to is a lot of those patients needing glasses to see well and to see sharply at all distances. So more of a 100% dependency is much more likely in, in that case or in the manual case than it is with custom or advanced. So with cataract surgery, what are we after? We are truly after 20 happy, 20 functional. So that's not a set number. It's really driven by the patient. So what is functional vision? It means just that, that you're able to function. You're able to get around and do your normal daily tasks, and you're able to do those things safely. If prescription glasses are required to see your best after manual surgery, or if patients prefer to wear prescription glasses after cataract surgery, we tell patients to wait one month because as you heal, the prescription numbers tend to fluctuate up and down before settling and becoming stable. That stability should be long-term, but it's not usually reached for about a month. If you have problems, call us. We're here to help you. That's what we do. We help patients through these procedures. And so if there's questions, if there's concerns, you let us know. Understand with biology and healing, we are not able to control every single variable, even though we try. Um, and so if you have a path that you're concerned about uh, after surgery, you just have to reach out to us and we will be there for you.